wanted to make a quick video to show how I did my surround on my trunk. I started off with putting one buys. I laid them in the trunk. Some of them were kind of sideways because I went around whatever it was in there. I really didn't want to cut out any of the brackets that were factory in the trunk. After I had those laid down, I figured out what my bottom panel was going to be. I used 3 8 plywood to cut around all the different structures that were inside the trunk. Laid them on top of the one buys and then I attached them with an air stapler. You can use screws, air stapler, whatever you want to do. Glue them. Once you have this made up, it is one piece. It'll fit right in the trunk. Just be careful taking it in. It drops on in and fits in there nice and tight. Doesn't bounce around. Don't worry about these cleats for now. I'll show you in a minute what I did with those. Next, I got some heavy duty cardboard. Figured out my sides. When they're cut out to go behind the trunk braces. They fit right inside the brace and the top of them go against the factory lip up underneath. Got the left hand side and one for the right hand side. My template fits either side. You just have to notch out for any kind of wiring that might be running along the top side of the trunk. Once I had those in, I figured out where I wanted them to be plumb in the trunk. Take a pencil and mark either side. And that'll show you where you put your cleat on the bottom. Just don't forget to move it back for whatever thickness material you're going to use on your sides. Once I have the two sides cut out, I use just like a quarter inch 5 16th paneling. Because it doesn't have to be very structural sound on the sides, it's just covering the, the gap on the side. I made my back filler panel again out of a heavy duty cardboard. I have it cut so it fits right in and again I took my pencil mark the sides and mark the bottom where I want my cleats I pulled that out and made cleats again out of a three-quarter by one inch board on three sides and also mounted one up underneath and that's the only part I screwed to the structure of the car. Once you have your back piece cut and put in place, this is all just sitting in here temporary, I have the last template which goes against the rear of the trunk. I have it cut out for the trunk latch and I actually have a little bit of wiring coming out in certain areas that I cut out for also. This fits down on an angle and you can have whatever angle you want, it doesn't matter. It'll fit in like so. And again, once I have this in, you take your pencil Mark the two sides again and mark the bottom wherever yours comes out to. And that's where you can put your, your last couple cleats in. Now I've made my back piece out of one solid piece of plywood and just scored the top quite a few times with a razor blade and was able to break it over onto itself without breaking the piece in half. I also added one, one by cleats to sit along the top part of the trunk where it levels off and runs back towards the bumper and I also cut on an angle a couple cleats in the back I can't tell you what angle it is for yourself because your car may be different then you fit this piece in it's a little snug 
but it trims off the rest of the trunk nice. And at that point, you drill this out, run some screws in all your cleats to hold it in nice and tight. Again, the only piece that's attached to the car is up underneath here, and you really don't have to do it, but I feel it might be needed to keep it from moving around. And then you can either cut this out, put speakers in it, put any kind of cubbies in the side. I just may leave mine like this and just cover it with a black uh, carpeting that you can get off Amazon or anything and just glue it on and just have a finished trunk. So when you do put something in your trunk, it's not going to bounce and dent your quarters like this car was originally. If you're interested in doing this for your car, I have poster board templates that I can mail out anywhere in the world that you want. I'll have the information in the description for the video. But this particular template should fit Buick, Olds, Pontiac, obviously Chevelle A bodies should fit from 68 to 72. Most of the bodies were identical, especially the Chevrolets. If you're interested in more information, you could also contact me at my email. It's bdub.com. Y-A underscore two four at yahoo.com.